Hello everybody! This video will help you learn the temperature of processor, video card or hard disk of your computer. It can also tell you about why it rises and how to cool your hardware. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Any device works within its specific temperature range. If the temperature of processor, video card or hard disk of your computer rises, it can result in unstable work or even breakdown. How can you learn the temperatures? Initially, you can see all information about the work of your system in BIOS or UEFI, depending on its configuration. There is already a video on how to get into BIOS or UEFI in our channel. You will find the link in the description. All you need is to get to BIOS or UEFI. Then find the necessary information in the following tabs depending on the model of your motherboard. It can be PC health status or just status, hardware monitor, HW monitor or just monitor, power, and so on. In many motherboards with UEFI and a graphical interface, the information on the processor temperature is shown in the main screen. The minus of this method is that you can't see the processor temperature when it is loaded, because while you are in BIOS the processor is idle, and the shown information is only true for idle state temperatures. That is why the more convenient way to monitor the temperature of processor, video card or hard disk of your computer is to use special software. There are lots of such programs and often they are fee-paying. That is why we will have a look at the three most popular ones. The first is AIDA64, previously known as Everest. To use it, go to the developer's website and download it. Find the link in the description and then start it. Please note that the program is not free, but it offers a trial period of 30 days. Then go to the menu on the left to find Computer – Sensor. Here AIDA64 shows the data received from sensors installed in the computer. In the section Temperatures we can see what we are looking for, how hot the devices are. CPU – Core – the temperature of processor cores. As a rule, the processor temperature is based on the hottest core. Hard disk temperature video card. The second one is from another well-known developer – Piriform Spacky. It has a free version. Find the link to the website in the description. First of all, download and install Spacky. After the program is launched, you will see absolutely all information about the computer. It includes the temperatures of the central processor, hard disk and graphics. Now it's time for the third free program named CPU ID HW Monitor. Find the link to the program's website in the description. As well as two previous programs, after launching, HW Monitor shows you main characteristics of your computer's equipment. Among others, we can see processor temperature, hard disk temperature, and video card temperature. Now, what temperature of processor, video card, or hard disk of a computer is OK? Processor manufacturers set their own limits to CPU temperatures, but generally speaking, the processor should have up to 40 degrees Celsius when idle and up to 70 degrees Celsius under load. Anything hotter than that is critical. For a video card, 40 degrees when idle is OK and up to 80 degrees under load is still normal. For a hard disk, the figures are from 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. I would like to emphasize that these are average figures and you should go to your device manufacturer's website for particular details. How can you do that? For example, let's take the name of the processor in your PC from one of the diagnostic utilities we have just seen. Use a search engine to find its specifications in the manufacturer's official website. Go to the corresponding website, in our case Intel, and look for the temperature figures we need. The case critical temperature is the maximal temperature allowed in the integrated heat spreader of the processor. 
I want you to understand that this value will be different even for different modifications of devices from one manufacturer. In the same way, you can find the maximal critical temperature for any device. I strongly recommend using manufacturer official websites. Here are the symptoms that can tell you the computer is getting overheated. Everything begins when the noise from your system case or laptop increases. Heat sinks are slowly collecting dust and coolers have to work faster to maintain normal temperature, which makes more noise. It's the first sign that things go wrong. If you ignore that, the cooling system gives way and now performance falls. The computer is getting slower. The system deliberately reduces performance of its hardware or certain components to keep temperatures within normal range. It's a kind of a protective function. Sometimes you can get blue screens, restarts or shutdowns at the most interesting moments in your game. It's a clear sign that it's time to open the system case and check the cooling system. If the computer is under warranty, you should take it to a service center. Read our blog to learn how to recover data after a computer shuts down or restarts. Find the link in the description. The last stage is when an overheated part breaks down. It mostly happens because a cooling system fails. For example, when a cooler on a video card stops working. To make sure it never happens, monitor the temperature of main devices in your desktop or laptop. Pay attention to how your computer works and regularly clean it from dirt and dust. And if necessary, replace the thermal interface that connects the heat sinks with the parts that become hot when they work. If you found this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!